What is going on everybody, it's Danny here from Dynamite Darts and welcome back to episode 8 of Path to Pro. This is the series where I'll be documenting and vlogging my journey moving from an amateur darts player to hopefully one day stepping on the Ali Paddy stage. As always, I want to say a massive thank you for the support on the last video and again, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button on this one. So in this episode, I'm going to be taking you through how I'm using my new self-counting dartboard to help me get better at darts. I want to say a massive thank you to the guys over at Scolia who sent me out a Scolia home model to play around with for this series and do a little review on so I'll be giving my honest thoughts throughout this video. Firstly I guess what is the Scolia? You've probably seen this in some of my videos in the past and I've been getting some questions on it. The Scolia is a self-counting dartboard. Essentially how this works is there's three cameras A, B and C up here that take a digital model of your board and correspond that to where the points enter in the board to be able to automatically count for you. So in the box itself you get this surround with the three cameras and underneath here if you can see that's the Scolia system itself, which is the computer which kind of processes all the information. That leads on to a light which plugs into the wall, and then you have a LAN cable which plugs directly into your internet box. Now I have to add that these are by no means cheap. The Scolia Home will set you back about 780 euro, which is about 700 pounds, and give or take just under a thousand dollars. So that is a lot of money to be spending on something like this. However, it's such a cool piece of kit. I'm gonna go in, give you the ins and outs of it, give you a little bit of my thoughts on it, and then also, if you are interested at the end of this video and potentially buying one of these I will have a code it might be on the screen now to be able to help you save some money on this so it's really lightweight and really easy to set up you have your three cameras as well some other bits you have to screw in and then your computer system itself is underneath along with an LED strip light that goes around it's so easy to set up now these three spokes actually clip in behind your current surround now that that's all assembled together all you need to do is go online and get your dartboard set up so once it is all set up, what you want to do is follow the setup instructions over in your manual. Following this page, type in your serial number, set up an account, and then you can activate it on any device you want. I mostly use my laptop, but as you can see here, I've signed in on my mobile phone. And from here, using the three cameras, you simply align the cameras up with the board itself. So as you can see here, I've intentionally put one out of whack. I just have to hit start streaming, which it is there and just whatever camera that one is. Let me just check which one that corresponds to. That's the one on the side there. I'm gonna change that so that the ellipsis is directly over the board like this. Now I've changed it. So now all three are lined up. That means it's pretty much good to go. You just need to hit calibrate at that stage. Once that gives you the calibration done, you're ready to play. There's no point in me talking about it anymore. I'm gonna go and play a 501 leg just to show you exactly what it's like. So I'm gonna do a little voiceover for the 501 leg just to show you what it's like i have the scotia set up here you can see first darts go in as a 60 picks it up beautifully again it just really does this effortlessly i don't have to touch this i'm not thinking i'm just thinking about scoring again second throw here we have a 20 a 60 and a 20 for a ton this isn't a bad leg <laughs> Um, but I just said I'd give you an example of like what this actually looks like in real time and it picks it up surprisingly A quickly and B so accurately. One of the questions I get is can I get a 180? No, we bounce out for a 121. One of the questions I get is how accurate is this? I find that it has an error rate of one in every 60 to 70 throws, which is probably one in every 200 darts, which if you think about it is fantastic. So out of every 200 darts, you might find yourself having to change the score manually, which is very easy. You just click on the number to change it. And the beautiful thing about this is, after you see this leg in a second, we'll see how quick we can get this leg. I said, listen, let me try and throw a 12 dart or something nice for you guys. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So here we are left on 118. I missed the big 20 and then I said, listen, can I take out 98? No, I get a big, big five, and then I come downstairs for the beautiful switch to the triple 19. Leave myself 36. One of my favorite doubles, double 18, unfortunately, come very far inside on the first dart, and then thankfully take out the double nine on the second dart. Now you can have a look there, that's a 20 dart leg. It can actually, it shows you and it knows when you're taking the darts out. So what I do here is I quit the game just to show you exactly what this looks like. Look at this, this is so cool. This is a heat map that shows you all your scores, your averages, everything you've thrown, and then you can change that as well. It shows you how many darts have thrown to show coordinates. So you can see exactly where every dart is thrown. This is a massive feature. And again, this is fantastic for tracking all of your stats. And it adds a different element to be able to not only track your stats, but also see where exactly you're landing in the 20 bed. For me, you know, this is the story of my life. I tend to pull my darts a little bit to the left, as you can see, based on the heat map there. And it's something I'm working on at the moment, but we're getting there. 
So here we are on the Scolia website. Apologies, my audio when I record this first time didn't come out great, so you just see me chatting away there. But this is one of the cool things about Scolia. There's so many different features. Here we have the local game, the online game. You can have once the board is set up, tournaments as well, and they are in their beta stage at the moment as well as so just going through more stats with everything, which is cool to see. As you can see, that's how many throws I've thrown all time at this board. Over 12,500 throws, which equates to like 37,000 darts. That's a lot of darts in that time. Probably only 100 or 200 times I've had to actually change the score manually. Like, that's how accurate it is. Then going into your options, you have the local game, the online game, and the tournaments. The tournaments aren't that busy at the moment because it's quite late. Um, but the local game lobby, there's only just yourself obviously but you can go in and kind of change this is what i think is quite cool you can have your presets on the side there I do 2501 when i'm going just for some medium scoring and when i run i really just practice on scoring in the 20s and 19s i'll go 9909 which is basically 20 legs in one that takes 25 30 minutes sometimes but it's a good bit of practice then you have around the clock box 27 cricket there's so many different game types and you can customize these so much like what do you want to start on what you want to finish on so you can start on um you know any number from 101 to 9999 you can do race of race two or best of however many sets and legs you can add up to eight players you can do double in double out you can kind of set this up whatever you want you can throw for the ball you can not throw for the ball you can do the pdc rules or wdf rules the pdc rules are bull 25 or outside the wdf rules are how close you are to the bullseye with that being said in the online game you can just go on and play people you know and as you can see there's people in the chat constantly like that was every you know that's in the past 10 minutes all their messages which is fantastic most people who own one of these boards are from ireland germany belgium and the uk from what i've seen so far tournaments as i said there look how many tournaments there they just kind of have them lined up constantly every half hour or an hour or so and again they just have them with different names different tour points for them they're getting busier at the moment these ones are for days in advance there aren't really people in them but they are a cool kind of feature that they're running and um they are getting more and more popular you know there's one or two days a week where they are kind of packed out and again it will be to your average so yeah again just some more cool features with this scolia and as i said i'm really really happy with this device so anyways back to the video so i guess i should give my pros and cons to owning one of these scolia devices first thing i want to get through a few questions that i feel like a lot of people have that i also had when i first got one of these the first one i've written down is bounce outs it does a great job of picking up bounce outs it actually kind of knows when a bounce out occurs because it will take it from when your hand goes into the board so if it knows only two darts have only come up but you go to take out your darts it will then only add up the two scores sometimes it does it automatically but again it's very accurate when it comes to this the other thing is robin hoods i use condors but i did switch over just to try and get a few clips unfortunately i couldn't hit a robin hood but it does seem to notice when robin hoods occur from what i've seen and also from when i've been playing with friends who are using normal stems and flights on top of that then if you do get a score that is incorrect which just happened time to time you can change it manually like i mentioned before there isn't really anything else that comes to mind they're the big questions but all in all this is a really great piece of kit so in terms of what i believe to be the cons and i'll start off with the cons because it is a short list and the pros i do believe but they are big cons the first one is the price this isn't something that's too easily accessible to most people and the second biggest con that i found was just the fact that it makes you a tiny bit lazy when it comes to counting when you're in person you're playing events you won't have something counting for you even if i was on a finish i'd find myself after the first start it will almost give me a suggestion of places where to go i think that can make you a little bit lazy uh when it comes to counting so that's probably the only other con i can think about this device now in terms of the pros there's a good few of them the first one is it's very accurate i didn't think it would be as accurate as it is particularly between the wires and things bounce out when things are close but it's very accurate it really is it's fantastic for practicing you can just set it up sometimes i'll set it up a 5000 on one leg to help with some scoring it really does just make it so seamless where you can just focus on your scoring if you want to and it will track all the statistics as well which is another pro i've written down it will track everything i'll put some screenshots on the screen here you can track your double percentage as i showed earlier 
the heat map. The heat map is just another fantastic tool that I think isn't getting enough even marketing from the guys at Scolia. I would almost lead with that. That's such a cool concept to be able to see exactly where your darts are going. And it's helped me to diagnose where I'm falling behind on my doubles, etc., etc. On top of that, like I said, there's so many options, like I mentioned earlier, in terms of their features, and they're constantly adding to this, which is again a big pro. And I guess the last pro, and this leads into my thoughts on this specifically, is if you are a big darts fan, this is every darting fan's dream, I think. It's such a cool piece of kit. A lot of the pros are actually using it now for practice. And if you have the disposable income, I would recommend picking one up. I really would. Again, not everyone's gonna be able to afford this, but if you can and you love the darts, I really do think this is a fantastic piece of kit. Overall, when I take into account all of the pros and all of the cons with the Scolia, I've had it now for nearly two months. I really want to get a lot of time playing with this before I gave a review. And I have to say, I'm giving this a 9.1 out of 10. Now, if you are a darts club or you're a venue that seems to host a lot of tournaments and things like that, I would definitely pitch in and get one of these. Again, if you split the cost between some people, it isn't that much at all. If you're interested, go use my code DYNAMITE at checkout. What that will, it's dynamite with a wire put on the screen, and that will give you free shipping, which takes 50 to 100 euro off the total price. So there you have it. That is my review on the Scolia itself. You may be wondering why I haven't included even more throwing footage with this. And the reason being is you will see it in every video I post. If you want to see more footage of it, go check out all my videos. I will leave a link where you can purchase the Scolia in the description. And like I mentioned before, a massive thanks to the team of Scolia for sending me out one of these to try. I love it. If you want to pick it up, I really recommend it. So without further ado, let's get back into the vlog. Moving forward, I'll be working with a coach like I mentioned, and I told you I'll give you the details for that in this video. Moving forward, I'll be working with Daniel Poole from Straight to the Point Darts over on YouTube. If you haven't checked out his videos already, I will leave them below. I'll leave them in the description or leave them on the, the screen here. Daniel is fantastic. So I recorded these clips last week and since then I've actually implemented the advice Daniel has given through our first kind of session together and this is just me implementing some of the, the stuff we, we talked about. So, you know, this is my literal like first few minutes, I guess, working on these things and already there's a massive difference that I can feel in, in the throw and the biggest one being my scoring. Now there is something we, we worked on a lot, which you can see here, which is the pivot and lean in as opposed to throw aimlessly whenever I was switching and because of that my double weren't uh, kind of up to scratch but when I came to getting the dart straight at the 20 my scoring was on fire as you can see here it's only after one leg or two but my scoring average is well up over 100 I carried on after this and did a few more legs and average average was uh, mid 60s to 70s where it normally is anyways but my scoring average is never that high so if I can just you know again this is only the first few minutes doing this I would uh, actually look at getting the scoring down sorry the doubling down this is going to be a massive massive improvement moving forward I'll put some clips on the screen of some of the feedback Daniel gave, but again, I can't recommend himself enough. This is awesome. Um, I'm really happy with this. If you have a look even after this leg, if you just take away the double percentage, I was down to a double pretty much after 13 darts every leg, give or take. And I just missed a lot of darts double. But if you can see here, look at where I'm aiming. It's literally right in the middle of the triple 20 bed. I normally pull left, you know, it's a tiny bit left, but the heat map is showing good. In three legs there, we got, you know, seven ton pluses as well as a, a 94 as well. So, like, happy with this and plenty, plenty more to come. And again, if you are interested in coaching, go check him out. Although I did warn him that if he gets influx of people, increase the prices because he undercharges for what he is. He's so, so good at what he does and he could be charging and should be charging. This is for you to know a hell of a lot more. Anyways, we're going to be working together over the next few months, set inside some plans. And I guess I'll bring him in a little bit as well for some videos just to help better show you guys a roadmap of where we're going with this series. As I was editing the video, I thought I'd throw in this clip real quick. We are out of the pre-orders, so if you do want to grab yourself a set, the price is now we sold out, which is fantastic. 45, I got a new order in. There's a couple more sets left if you want them. Same as always, drop me a message on Instagram saying custom darts, and I will try and save you a pair. As always, if you love the darts, be sure to subscribe. And until next time.